Insta Immersion. Alrighty, welcome everybody back to I Am Talk. We have my very good friend Chris Souza. He is the COO of Tardis Wealth Strategies. And Chris, just want to welcome you. Um, thanks for just taking this time to have a conversation. And right. I, I'm just really encouraged to just hear what you have to share today. Um, yeah. I remember just uh, our first intersections was probably about 2015 or 16, right? Wow. I know. Time so, flies. Time yeah, flies. Like seven, six or seven years ago. But um, the way that we met was actually wow. um, from me signing on as a client um, to TARDIS and then mm -hmm. uh, me just really enjoying the, the benefits of um, using the Income Snowball for our own personal finances and yeah. actually having a lot of breakthroughs, right? Yeah. Um, and then us actually actually having the chance to work together mm -hmm. um, for, for a few seasons. I was actually a wealth coach with uh, Chris being a, a mentor, a teacher, uh, but just somebody that really poured into me. And, and you were just always kind of checking up on me saying, hey, how are your houses doing? Or how's your self-directed IRA? Or, but yeah, just really um, um, appreciate just all that I've gleaned from you. I can't believe it's six years. I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Um, how did you get started in, you know, pre-TARDIS, right? Um, you were an investor prior. Yeah, I was the analysis paralysis type. I knew a lot about investing, but <laughs> um, I didn't really pull the trigger until we got married. Oh, so it was all Tanisha's fault, it pretty much. Tanisha's that fault. got you. Uh, yeah, used, used my life savings, rolled it on the dice. Yeah. So, uh, uh, as she was telling you, um, we read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yes. And it tells you, you know, to go out and look for foreclosures, things of that mm. sort, because we wanted to pay off her school loans. Yeah, so that this was, was the kind of the first major leap of... Yeah. So, we got married. Here, back up a little bit more. We got married. Uh, she had 1200 I think, $80 a month payments. Yeah. And it was for 20-something years. And I, I wow. was like, what's this payment? Law school is not cheap, huh? <laughs> yeah. I said, USC Law School. I'm like... <laughs> okay, how long for? I'm like, whew. I'm like, we got to get rid of that. So we, yeah, we looked into go. paper, like trading, doing all these things. And we came up with the the fastest way is to flip homes. Yeah. And so that's what we jumped into. And we did tremendous amount of mistakes. I can give you guys tons of stories, but yeah, uh, we just did it. And as we did it, um, long story short, a year and a half later, we finally, finally flipped a home with bad contractors and you name it and doing all oh the my crazy gosh. stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, we flipped a home and paid off the school loans. Wow. It was wild that day. It was a hundred, over six figures. Oh my goodness. So we had, you know, we had to call them and then we, we're going to pay, pay you. And they're like, are you going to pay the whole thing off? They're mm. like, yeah, yeah, we are. So you had to make some mistakes in the process in order to kind of um, finesse it and finally come to that place where you could get the numbers working, understand the process. Um, at what point did you see things shift, I guess? Um, when we saw, the, the, to me, when it shifted was right at about, right when everything was getting done, because we worked seven days a week, because we both had full-time jobs. She's at a law firm. I was working at a car dealership. Both making great money, but working crazy hours. Yeah. On top of that, we had to work flipping the home. Mm. And we didn't really have that much time, but I was doing the plumbing, we were doing the landscaping, oh. like all, because we had sweat equity. We didn't have a lot of money. Yeah. And so we were like, we got to turn this thing over. And mm. as we did that, um, I saw the corner was right towards the end, like, oh, okay, it's almost going to be done. We can put it on the yeah. market. Thank you, Lord, <laughs> you know? And that's what happened, yeah. I can just see like so many hidden lessons behind that being very hands-on with the plumbing and, and uh, with other aspects of the house. I mean, there's that, uh, I don't know if you've heard of the McDonald's, uh, I think it's like the corporate model where anybody that goes into corporate working for McDonald's, they have to, at least for a season, flip fries and flip burgers and just pretty much do everything on the floor before they could actually head inside the building, right? And mm -hmm. so just knowing the value of that process. Yeah. And so um, where along the journey did, did um, I know Tanisha had this amazing idea, right, of the income snowball, but how did that come into play? Um, I mean, like you probably had this idea of like, oh, no, no, like we can start flipping homes and where did the, the income snowball, how does that intersect? You know, I'm glad you said that because um, we uh, flipped the homes, paid everything off, and then we heard about TARDIS. Yes. TARDIS was a New Zealand company and uh, we were like, what is this TARDIS? You know, and at that time, fast forwarding a little bit, 
we had commercial properties already, and we yeah. have a lot of income coming in. Um, and so we're like, oh, so this will save us a lot on paying down our debt. Mm -hmm. This makes sense. Why not do it? So as we looked into it, um, and then like a week or two later, uh, literally two people told us, hey, this thing TARDIS, um, they're, they're looking for someone to do like a franchise. And at the time, we replaced her income. So she didn't have to work anymore. Wow. And so because of it, she's like, I want to do it. I'm like, <laughs> are you sure? She's like, yeah. And at the time, you got to think about it, she was um, up for a partner at her law right. firm. Wow. And, and long story short, she was making a lot of money and was going to go to the next level. And she was like, I want out. Mm. I, wanna, I don't want to do this anymore. Already I already had enough of that lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, working 80 hours a week, crazy. And so um, she jumped at it and soon became the number one uh, office in the country that did it. And then we wanted to actually do more than show people how to pay off debt. Yeah. And when that happened, um, the corporate said, no, just, just you got to show people how to pay off debt. We're mm -hmm. like, oh, really? So we put in a bid to buy the company. Wow. We had a bigger vision. And they were like, okay. you know. And so as we did that, we shifted from just paying off debt to wealth strategies, to mm -hmm. getting rid of debt, tax strategies, a whole bunch of things that you can advance yourself. Yeah. And these were all things that you guys had learned from making your own mistakes and implementing within yeah. your own financial systems. Yeah, and being studiers of what's happening, what's out there. You know, the crowd runs this way, we run this way. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and, and you look at anybody who's done anything incredible, everybody's running this way, they go this way. And they did take chances, and so that's what we did. Wow. So what was it like first introducing TARDIS to Hawaii, right? Um, this was in 2000. 2000. Here's the crazy thing. It was 2000. Um, we had a chance to put, I don't know if you remember the yellow pages back then. Yes, oh my gosh. We had a chance to, <laughs> to put a big sticker on the front of the yellow pages. And it was, I think it was, pay off your mortgage in, in three to five years or something along that line, three, five to seven years. And we'll show you how, you know, so, something along. We thought the phone was going to ring off the hook. Yeah. And the phone didn't ring off the hook. <laughs> we're like, oh, no, we spent all this money and time. What are we going to do? It's probably something that people weren't used to seeing, right? It, it's a mind shift. Yeah. It's a mind shift. And that's what the income snowball is, which, mm -hmm. which after that came about. I'm not joking. One day we're eating dinner, and Tanisha goes, she goes, I got this download from God. <laughs> and I was like, what? You know, I'm eating going, what? She goes, I got this download from God. I gotta, I gotta write it down. I gotta write it down. Can I get a paper? So I, 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 had, my, I had my backpack <laughs> and I was like, is it here? And then she started put, drawing squares and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay. And then she showed it to me and I said, you know, we had a hard enough time getting people just to, <laughs> just to pay off their debt. Now you're gonna, you're gonna go to the next level. And wow. so long story short, what it is, is you can pay off debt and make money at the same time or make money even if you had no debt mm -hmm. and it's a systematic way of replacing your income it's it's based on cash flow and a cash flow arbitrage instead of interest rate arbitrage i don't know if that yeah. makes sense no i remember um i think it was through one of tanisha's videos i love the way she explained it how it's the only system where you can take advantage of um correct me if i'm wrong but you you can reverse compound interest and also take advantage of the compounding interest at the same time right where you're making money but then you're also paying off debt simultaneously yeah yeah and here here's another story to, to when she came out with it, i thought i was like oh no this is crazy she went to work on it that day and started proving it to me within the first i think month we saw our, the first check come in and then the second and the third it got bigger and bigger yeah but before this happened now before she even started uh came up with the idea we were going to a bible study at a park mm -hmm. and they had this person come over he was prophetic Okay, and, and she was in the car working, and I was at the Bible study, and he was praying for people. And I was like, wow, this guys he knows people what's going on. You know, he's reading their mail, like, ahead of time. So I, <laughs> I texted her, hey, come out here. And then she was the last one in line. And he walked up to her, he looked up at her, and, he, and he, he'd never met her before. And he said, you're going to do advanced financial strategies that is going to blow the world away. Wow. And things that people think this can't be done, you're mm. going to come out with it. And I was like, I'm like, okay, we're in the right place at the right time. You know, like, this is so cool. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned God, and I know you're both um, just, you know, huge in your faith, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, even, you know, as the um, church was a place where people were gravitating towards you both, asking for 
financial advice, people being in different situations saying, hey, how can we learn from you? What can we glean from you? Um, what was that like? Boy, you know, it's funny. We first, when we first got married, uh, we started a Bible study in our house for finances. And it came to the place where pastors from our church and other churches were sending people to us. That's why we ended up going to the park, because it came too big for our house. <laughs> and wow. even other people with different faith were coming in. We see them today. And I'm not, I'm not joking, you people that were homeless, living in their car, mm -hmm. now doing very successful. Wow. They're like, oh my God, thank you so much. And da, da, da. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, what happened? You know, I'm like, and they tell us your story. And it's like, okay, this is what it's all about. You know, great, yes, the money will come. But as you impact people's lives like that, man, things just start happening. Word, the word gets out, so it's so cool. Yeah, so, so with, um, you know, this vision that God shows Tanisha and you being able to help out all these different people, not only through your Bible study, but beyond, um, I really see this as almost being a ministry of some sort, right? Maybe not your typical ministry of, you know, yeah. things that you see at church, but a very unique one that yeah. God had specifically assigned for you guys. Yeah, it, and it really is our ministry. It is. Um, we say that all the time, and, and impacting people's lives at their financial level will change everything and how they do life, mm -hmm. how they see church, how they see God, how they, you know, it's crazy, but it, it really impacts um, people's lives. Yeah. So when I was at working at the car dealership, mm -hmm. um, she wanted me, because the, the business was growing so much and we were touching so many people, she, she was like, you need to come help me. And I'm like, wow. I'm making a six-figure income. I make my own hours. I'm like, are you sure? She's like, yeah. 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 <laughs> and here's the crazy thing. This was right before the 2008 meltdown. Wow. So as Talk I about left. timeliness, right? Yeah. So we see people now, they're like, you left right before that happened. How did you know? And it, you start seeing God's signature mm. as you go through life. You know what I mean? And you, th you open doors and you're like, how did we even get here? God has been so good. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Um, being a TARDIS client for years, um, I was able to experience just the different model of business, uh, of business that you guys have yeah. um, versus financial advisors, right? And so financial advisors being more um, people that will just kind of take your assets and invest it more for you for the long term. Yep. Um, and then TARDIS kind of being more with the coaching model. Um, can you expand a little bit more upon, yeah, just just yeah. the the what are the benefits of coaching and... Um, so the difference, the big difference for us is um, with that model, it works, it's fine, but we take our approach of you want more control over it. So when your money's in a 401k, right. you have no control. You can, a lot of times you don't even have access to it. You can maybe borrow against it, maybe, um, but you, it goes down or up and it's at the whim of the market. So what we're about is you taking more control, right. educating yourself, because how many hours and how hard do you work for your money? Mm. Think about it. Most people do, but they just go, oh, this is the way that everybody does it. Let me go this way. And you know, you're like, no, let's go look at this. Start opening your mind up. And as you get more control of it, you start making your own decisions around money. And it's shocking when you do that. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, I mean, people think it's a, a really hard or you mean, you're not at advanced levels in mathematics. You don't really need that. You just need guidance and coaching. And what we do is we, as we coach you through the system, there's no, go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. We start questioning you in all different ways. And then you get the answer. You're like, oh my God, I need to, I need to do that. And I'm like, yeah, you do. And that's where it comes from. Yeah. One of the hugest things that I walked away from the coaching and things that we still implement to this day is the education, right? And yeah. so all the education that we got, yeah, through our coaches firsthand, um, watching a ton of videos, and then even working as a wealth coach for a season with you, yeah. learning from you and, um, yeah, having, having just this wealth, right, of, you know, oh, like, what do you do when it comes to infinite banking or self-directed IRAs, first trust deeds? We now have this arsenal of things that we didn't know years before. Isn't that crazy? Artists, right? And all of a sudden, like you know, I wasn't an expert because I taught myself these things, but it was around being, um, yeah, other people that were so much more knowledgeable, so much more um, being able to pass down very complex ideas in a way that made sense to me yeah. um, to the point where, oh, now I can implement this and have it work so well where, oh, like there's no other option but want to share this with other people too. Yeah. Yeah. So what I tell people is just do a little bit of math and find out if 
what they're doing when they come to that time of either replacing their income through retirement or whatever it is, that they'll have enough. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to rely for me, and I tell our clients, don't try to rely on Social Security or anything along that side. Make your own road, and when you have more coming in, you can go do more. And the time freedom and giving back to charity and things like that. Like we just raised, I don't know, I think sixty thousand dollars wow. already for Home Aid Hawaii. Yeah. And it's a you know uh, uh, for the homeless here in Hawaii. Yes. And so how great it is to give back, mm. you know, to clients, uh, to people that that really are in need. Yeah. Yeah. So the coaching is key because yeah. a lot of times you guys you guys make decisions subconsciously from things that you have done in your past or seen in your past or your mom and dad have told you. And a lot of times those things are, are not correct. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. And you got to reprogram your mind and re-educate yourself to go, let me take the first step. And you don't, like, I've heard that saying before, you don't need to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. And when you do, the second step goes ding, the light comes on, you go to the third, the fourth, the fifth, and you look back and you're like, just like you just said, all these things that I have, I'm like, how did I even know this? Yeah. How did I do this? <laughs> you know, and you're like, see, you see, you can do it. Yeah. yeah. So. And with, with technology changing over time and, oh. um, um, you know, it's almost like software that has to be updated every, yeah. every so often. True, um, yeah. Um, are there new things that um, you guys, um, uh, that TARDIS is learning, new um, investment strategies um, just with the, yeah, I mean, before you couldn't do, uh, you know, social lending was a huge thing that came out a few years ago. And there's other, other vehicles because of the internet, because of technology that makes it possible to invest in ways that we never have before, right? Right. So one of the new things that we're working on and coming out real soon with is doing the income snowball with cryptocurrency. Oh. So it it's, has been working. We just really want to tweak it and make it tight so before we come out to clients. Again, we never touch your money. We just educate you. You do everything. We just, you know, walk you through the process. But uh, with cryptocurrency, um, it's it's momentum stacking one investment on top of the other mm -hmm. where they can do some cryptocurrency some structured notes some all these different things that people n never thought about doing to create passive yeah. income and i'm sure yeah with crypto just coming out with not even i don't even think it's a decade old right maybe, maybe yeah. a little shy of a decade or i don't know what the what the yeah. math is but something relatively new that hey now we can implement things with the change of technology and the change of times um you also mentioned um, um, home aid, right, and different organizations that TARDIS has been involved with, um, being able to, yeah, just help those that are uh, less fortunate. And, yeah. and I'm sure um, as you guys have been able to not only grow your client base, but see people achieve their goals to the point where they could start um, helping other people. Yes. Um, yeah, can you kind of exp uh, uh, expand a little bit more about that? Well, we see a lot of clients that come to us and yet, you know, they have a little bit of money in the bank, they have some retirement income. What we do is we first go, we start off with their retirement income. We're like, okay, you want to retire in how long? 30 years. Okay, let's right. break this down. If you're putting away what you put away, here's what roughly where you'll be if everything works. Yeah. And they're like, that's it? I'm like, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. So let's start doing some things differently now. And as they start taking a hold of their finances, start thinking differently. Because first off, you got to think differently to begin with. Yes. Everything else changes as you do that. And you start taking the first step, second step, and it's wild. They get running and going. And then we, in, with our company, we have different levels. We have the TARDIS University, Money Rights Pro. We have a VIP level that everybody's kind of striving for to get there. Um, and as you see this happen, we start implementing how to give back and the mm. law of reciprocity and start getting deeper and what books to read so you, you start expanding your mind uh, around finances and as you give you get back but yeah. most people think i gotta hold on to every penny i gotta do this i gotta you know crunch the numbers and it's, it's wild but you start seeing that release and then more stuff comes to them more and mm. more you know <laughs> and they get a hold of it it's kind of wild yeah no i love how every year there's always either a cause or or an organization that you guys are focusing saying hey you know this year we want to either raise x amount of money or just set different goals right so when you have your wrc or that stands for wealth, wealth revolution Re challenge right, right. Yeah. can you talk a little bit about the yeah the, the wrc sure um we do six to seven of them a year and we also do some vip summits and a gala but we'll get into that in a second but yeah. the wrc is we bring in speakers from all over the country 
with different angles on real estate. Uh, people like, I can't buy a rental here in Hawaii. It makes no sense. Mm. It costs too much. And a lot of times that's true. No. But what happens is that we turn them on to turnkey rental providers on the mainland. Mm. And we vet them and we work with them beforehand and everything else. And then people start doing that. And next thing you know, they got three, four, five, yep. six, seven, <laughs> ten, fifteen, you know, rentals. And now it's it's doing really good for them. Yeah. So it's just changing the way of thinking around that process of taking the first step, keep going and going and going. Mm. Yeah. So awesome. So awesome. And uh, what's the... Um, I guess the fulfillment that you have when you see people, uh, I don't know what the right word is, like graduate or fin uh, achieve financial freedom or just, yeah, how does that, how does that fill you? I, I always tell my staff, I'm like, this is more than money to me. Mm -hmm. Great, we're making good money, everything's coming, everything, got, got, you know, God yeah. is good. But when, when we see that, it like melts my heart. Like really, um, every time we hear a win. It, I love hearing it. Um, and so I, I'll give you a quick one. There was a lady that worked for us. Yeah. Uh, close to her retirement years, put away money her whole life, not even close that she had enough money. Wow. So she's like, I got to do something. And the funny thing is someone told her about us and she lives in uh, on the mainland. Mm -hmm. And she was like, what do they do? <laughs> so she got a hold of us, started as, as a client. Right which most of our coaches do. Mm -hmm. First, are there, it's quiet, but they do. Such as myself, too. <laughs> yeah. And then she started implementing these yeah. strategies along with working for us and helping other people to where she is now, I think it was four years with us or five years, mm. uh, mortgage-free. Wow. Uh, have, has enough money to done finish retirement. And so I think it was three weeks ago, she just called me, she goes, Chris, I said, I said, yes, what, what's going on? <laughs> she goes, I'm done. I don't want to work <laughs> anymore. That. I'm like, wait, I'm I got finished. you this job. You're really helping. You're helping a lot of people in your area and you know, where you live in this so small she town. she even graduated from a working for you guys yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, we have that a bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. We've had that happen several times. But I'm like, you can't, you can't quit. She's like, I'm quitting. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know? well, that's crazy. She was working her entire life. And then it was just, what did you say, like four to five years implementing um, the income snowball. And, and then other just, other strategies, tax right. strategies, and yeah, but other just things. the whole system of all these different things going on to the point where she even was released yeah. from working with you guys. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, what, what you know? Where does somebody need to start um, if they wanted to learn more about TARDIS, or um, if they were wanting to get educated about the income snowball? What are the steps that they need to do to to um, discover more? Um, go to our website tardis.com and then look up on their resources and look under the income snowball click in there put your name in there it'll open up put your name and email and uh, you'll get into our emailing list watch the watch the mini course first because we work, work on changing your thinking and then you get into understanding the income snowball don't try to rush and go right to the income snowball because <coughs> it, it it's really like bends your brain a little bit like is this real? Can this be real? Right. We hear this all the time. This is like too good to be true. I'm like, <laughs> okay, thousands of other people have done it. They're like, oh yeah, okay, you guys have been around 20 years, you know? And so uh, as you do that, um, uh, do the TARDIS Income Snowball and then put in for a strategy session. And all it is is your, the, our, one of our coaches will get a hold of you, collect some of your uh, financial information. We never take, touch your money. We don't, no social security numbers, no bank accounts, nothing of the sort. And then we put a plan together for you. And then we show you if you do these things and then we get a little bit more in depth with the, uh, the income snowball, right here probably could be your financial freedom date because life happens, meaning we're mm -hmm. just running a static on this, this amount. The rest is coaching. Okay, now I got this big tax bill. Now I got, I got an extra bonus. What do I do? I want to go on vacation. I want to do all these things. Okay, let's set that up. So most people never do that. They just run, run, and run and work hard and they hope they get there with, without um, kind of slowing down yeah. and looking around going, what, am I doing the right thing? Am I, you know? Mm -hmm. And they got the, the advice that they're getting is from their own self. They're trying to figure it out themselves. 
So they run to their CPA and the CPA says, oh, you should be doing this. They run to their financial advisor and they tell them this. Yeah, so they have too many kind of chefs in the kitchen, right? Right. Trying and to like, tell them what to do. Oh, maybe I should do, oh, I don't know. Should I buy a house? Should I, oh, I don't know, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, we try to put that all under one roof yes. and take you through this process. Is there a certain subset of people where this might not be the best solution for them? Or is this something that could actually work for anybody? Um, you know, I'm glad you said that because usually as financial, the financial planning mm -hmm. uh, world is they look for people that uh, generally have a bit of money to manage that money. Yeah. I call our company, we work, we work for and work with the little guy. And you can have nothing, no savings, nothing, and start with us as long as you have a little bit of cash flow and become something in a short period of time. And it might be 10 years. But I tell you what, it's a lot better than mm. 40 years or 50 years and you're guessing and you have control over yeah. it. So we're, we're kind of for the little guy, mm -mm. Um, you know, that, that might be still living at home and makes even two grand a month, three grand a month and has some cash flow. And they can do all these things before they leave the home. Yeah. Um, mom and pop looking ready to retire, military, that, you know, is making decent money. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, I want to retire in, in 20 years. And I don't want to go work again for someone else because this is pretty stressful being in the military, sure, right? Yeah. And so we kind of we're, we're for that that guy. We're not for so much for the guy with a lot of money. And we do have clients like that with you know three million, five million, twenty million dollars, but they're they're pretty rare. Yeah. No, us. I can I can totally testify to that too. Um, before starting Tardis, I think I wasn't even cash flowing two hundred dollars, right? But then just See? Within, See? within the first two years, it like grew from yeah, 200 to then 2,000 to 4,000. And it just kept on growing ever since then. I love it. And uh, <laughs> but it was just from being able to implement, you know, through the coaching, through the education and just being steady, right? Not being tempted again. Yeah. Like by leverage or, you know, there's going to be all these moments where, um, yeah, we're going to be tempted to go outside of it but that's where we kind of fall into the red zone right but then if we just stay steady really trust what the you know how the coaches are leading us and if there's new situations changes maybe you get an inheritance or maybe you know you have to take money from your rainy day fund or whatnot but yeah. you always go back to your coach just being able to say hey what's the best thing to do in this situation yeah i lost my job or this or that how do i what do i do um Am I still on track? Yeah. Because most times with your finances, it's like, okay, put the money here, you keep working, and everything will be okay in 30 years. And you're like, wait, are you sure? <laughs> How, you know, I don't even have, where's the money invested? I don't even know. You right, know? Right, right. But they're just like, yeah, it's okay, it'll be fine. And you're like, <laughs> Chris, we're down our last few minutes. It's, okay. it's so fast, but I want you to address the camera in front over here. If there's just a message of encouragement, or maybe there's just something you want to pitch, I just want to give you some time to shine. Yeah. I want to encourage people, even, even if they don't think they have a lot or nothing, to get a hold of us and start educating yourself to think differently. And when you start thinking differently, things start to happen. You get pointed in this direction, you start meeting different people and all these things start going in place. But get a hold of us so that you can at least find out what things you possibly can do and how many years it's going to take you to reach whatever you're looking for. Some people want this, some people want this. Everybody's a little bit different. So my advice is get a hold of us and change the way you think. And with that, your life will change. And it's simple, it's not hard, it's not hard. You don't have to be super educated. You don't have to be a CPA, you don't have to be all these things. But you can be a lot of things in three, five, 10 years. You look back and you'll freak out at where you can be. I'm telling you the truth on that one. So awesome. Thank you so much, Chris, just for your time coming on into the studio uh, for a conversation. And so this is Chris Souza from Tardis Wealth Strategies, and we'll leave in the description box below ways that you can discover more about Tardis and then ways that you can also get in touch with the coach so you can have your free strategy session yeah. to have some projections to see, um, yeah, what your potential retire retirement date can look like. So yeah. thank you again so much, Chris, okay. and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Instamotion. I would love to thank you for hanging out with us here on I Am Talk. 
hit the subscribe button to stay in tune with our channel. Oh, and don't forget to tap that bell icon to get notifications on the latest episodes coming your way. We're always looking for the next guests to talk story with here on I Am Talk. So if you just shoot me an email at alex at instantmersion.com, I'll be sure to shoot a guest application your way. Well guys, it's all for now. Until our next episode of I Am Talk, this is Alex and I'm out. Peace.